Inventory Recording System. Under the cost records, how is inventory maintained? There are two systems. One is the periodic inventory system and the other is the perpetual inventory system. Under the periodic inventory system, it's also known as the physical inventory system. Physical inventory system because under this system, inventory has to be counted physically. This has to be done once a year and sometimes the exercise may be done twice or thrice a year. So there is counting of stock, physical checking of stock, counting of stock. We arrive at the number of units. After arriving at the number of units, a value is assigned to these units. The cost of the units may be on the basis of FIFO or weighted average. I mention FIFO and weighted average because LIFO and simple average are methods not recognized by our accounting standards. Once the cost is ascertained, we then compare it with the net realizable value. So either the cost or the net realizable value, whichever is lower, is the cost which is assigned to the units. Units into either cost or NRV and we get the value of inventory. Once we know the value of inventory, we compute the cost of goods sold as opening stock plus purchases minus closing stock. Opening stock values we would know from the opening figures. Purchases for the year, there is a complete record. And closing stock has already been ascertained by physically verifying and assigning a value to each item of inventory. This is the periodic inventory system or physical inventory system. Though this method is simple, this method is inexpensive, there is not adequate control maintained over the units of inventory. Since cost of goods sold is just a function of opening stock plus purchases minus closing stock. The perpetual inventory system on the other hand involves a recording of every purchase and issue of inventory. An entry is made in a store's ledger, the format of which we shall see in a while. But each receipt and each issue is recorded. With every receipt, the balance of inventory changes. With every issue, the balance of inventory changes. So at any point in time, by looking at the store's ledger, we would know the balance of inventory. We know the inventory at any point in time. Therefore, it is easy to prepare final accounts at any time during the year. Under the periodic inventory system, since inventory can be ascertained only by physically verifying the stock, it may not be possible to complete our final accounts at any time during the year. We need to do accounts, a stock taking. We need to physically count 
inventory, ascertain the closing stock before preparing the financial statement. So balance of inventory, balance of inventory is known at any day. Since Closing stock under this system is actually opening stock plus purchases minus cost of goods sold. It's the balancing figure in a store's ledger. Control is exercised. because every receipt and every issue is recorded. Periodically, whenever physically stock is checked, physically stock is counted, it is verified with the records maintained in the store's ledger to ensure that the physical stocks actually exist as recorded. Therefore, much better control can be exercised. Perpetual inventory system works very well with a system of continuous stock take. Continuous stock take is a method by which there is stock taking throughout the year. If there are some 500 items of inventory, a couple of items are checked every day. They are physically counted and checked with the, with the store's ledger records. This way, the storekeeper is not sure which two items are going to be checked on a particular day. Also, the business operations don't have to be shut down to take a complete stock take. Throughout the year, the process of stock taking, a few items at a time, takes place. Let us just see the format of a store's ledger to understand how control is exercised. This is a store's ledger maintained under FIFO system. Continuing with our earlier example, on 1st January there was an opening stock of 500 units at a cost of rupees 48. Therefore, there is a balance of 24,000. On 10th January, on 1st itself, there was another purchase of 1,000 units at the rate of rupees 50. As a result, the closing balance consisted of 500 units at the rate of 48 and 1,000 units at the rate of 50. Next on 10th, there was a sale of 1,000 units. However, we are following the FIFA method. Therefore, 500 units from the first lot and 500 units of the second lot were issued. The first one at 48 and the next one at 50. As a result of which, we had a balance of 500 units of rupees 50. Next again, there was a purchase of 2000 at the rate of 55, so that the balance consisted of the 500 of 50 and 2000 at 55. Thus, we see that there is a record of every purchase and issue. The sales on 25th January, there was a sale of 3000 units. Following FIFO, 500 units of 50, 2000 units at the rate of 55 and 500 units at the rate of 60 were sold. The total cost of these goods was 1,65,000. On 31st January, 
the final balance was 62,000, 1,000 units at the rate of 62, 62 being the price at which the last lot was purchased. This is an example of FIFO. Stores ledger could have been maintained following the weighted average system too. Let us recap the perpetual and the physical inventory record systems. Under the periodic or physical inventory system is based on a physical verification whereas the perpetual inventory system is based on book records. Information about stock and cost of goods sold is got as on a particular date. However, under perpetual inventory system, there is continuous information about the stock. In physical inventory, like we said on a particular date, the date on which we actually count stock. Next, under the, perpet under the physical inventory system, inventory is first counted, inventory is asserted, and the cost of goods sold is the balancing figure, is the residual figure. Cost of goods sold, once inventory is counted, Cost of goods sold is equal to opening stock plus purchases minus closing stock. However, under perpetual inventory, we know the issue price of the goods based on whatever system of costing we are following. So, the cost of goods sold is directly determined and after the issue, the remainder balance is the closing stock. Inventory control under the periodic inventory system is limited. Therefore, it is largely used by smaller concerns where there is a lot of control by the owner himself. The perpetual inventory system is costlier. However, much better control can be exercised. In order to count stock under the periodic inventory system, business has to be closed down. However, in case of the perpetual inventory system, inventory can be ascertained without affecting the operations of a business since the amount of inventory can be directly checked from the store's ledger.